we're here this morning uh, uh -huh. with uh, with the uh, good folks from Alderville Council and Chief Marsden, and we're uh, making two announcements this morning. The first one uh, is for uh, refurbishment uh, of the uh, of the monument uh, that's on uh, Highway or County Road 45 uh, to bring it uh, up, bring it bring it up to the state in which we'd all like to see it. You know, do the purge the cracks, uh, do some caulking. Which is only right because that's the way we uh, we remember uh, with reverence the people who went before us, uh, gave up their lives, and and in uh, in support of this, not only just this community, but in support of this country and support them of uh, freedom. And it's only right that we maintain these monuments in 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 the best shape we can. And so uh, we're very pleased to make that announcement. And also, you know, the seniors and elders mm -hmm. built this country, built. Built your First Nations, built our, built our country, uh, and now we need to make sure that we we keep them in a, in a we we engage them in the community and continue to engage them by various uh, through various means, whether it be working with young folks, uh, practicing their language skills, uh, practicing their computer skills, teaching young people some of the traditional ways. So we're very pleased to make an announcement under the Horizons for Seniors in the amount of twenty-five thousand dollars to help continue that. Uh, engaging the elders and seniors in this community because, as I say, seniors built this country. And it's, uh, it's this year uh, one of 2,000 projects across Canada uh, for some in excess of $35 million going towards, uh, going towards that. And earlier this week we made two other announcements uh, with regards to Horizons for Seniors and we've been very fortunate in this writing. We have another one to make later on in June in the East End. So. Uh, uh, we are very we are very encouraged that more and more people are putting in, and very glad and happy that we were able to uh, be able to be here again and bring some good news. Right. right. So it's well, I say, uh, miigwech on behalf of the community of Alderville First Nation. As you know, the cenotaph is the central point of our community, and that means uh, a real deal to us. It's history in honor of our veterans from the first war, second war. Um, even Vietnam vets, but even going back to uh, 1812, you know, we're in that uh, anniversary year, we've had veterans from Alderville participate in that conflict also, but uh, to keep that monument beautiful as it is and seeing it all nice and bright now, we had new lighting put up, uh, we're getting a new wrought iron fence, uh, going to be around it, brand right. new, so uh, whatever we can do uh, to keep that legacy going, you know, it was built in 1927, so it needs some tender, loving care. I think every every year we're talking about a preventive maintenance schedule. Maybe wash it down once a year now, just to mm -hmm. keep it right. Great idea. And for the horizon, for the yeah. elders, you know, it um, it it helps our elders teach the young youth of Alderville past experience, and you know they're wise, and uh, you know, so that, that's going to help. Helps mature them and, mm -hmm. and bring the history. And you mentioned, of course, the War of 1812 and. Uh, we were very fortunate this week to be able to go down to Toronto uh, and see the, the Prince and uh, the Duchess uh, uh, come down and visit uh, Fort York. And there were uh, a large contingent of First Nations, uh, and that was a moving ceremony because uh, the, you know we had the uniforms throughout the years, especially uh, reminiscent of 1812. And without, I think, without the First Nations participation, we might. Uh, we might not be for uh, sure the country we are. That's history. That, that's right. <laughs> that war, that basically that war, was the commencement of Canada as, as we as we know today, and shows you how working together, uh, and sometimes having to fight together, um, makes a great country, uh, creates a great country, and uh, of course the rich heritage that First Nations bring with uh, with their participation that makes us only better and stronger. I think uh, just we should just. Mentioned too that there was at least five veterans of the Battle of Chrysler's Park, November 11, 1813, uh, that eventually came to Alderville and were founding fathers of Alderville. Um, documented history, and uh, those those men were uh, were there at Chrysler's Farm in defense of the uh, uh, the Canadian border. So uh, help with the retreat. Yeah, uh, and a huge uh, legacy, and I think uh, again the monument re reflects that, and I think it's probably. Safe to say that four generations have sat beside that monument, sat under that monument, and looked up to that monument, and uh, we uh, 
definitely have a, an obligation to keep that uh, uh, as beautiful as it is. Great. Once again, congratulations. Right on. Thank you.